What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney 6. We are currently starting New Testimony by Uendo. I was on stage until just moments before I went into the dressing room. Hold it! How can we be sure it was you who was on that stage? Are you asking whether it could have been some imposter? I guess so. Unlike a big arena, a Rakugo theater is a cozy little place. It'd be hard to fool an audience in such an intimate setting, don't you think? Yeah, I guess you're right. Good. I'm glad we can clear that up. Because I guess you could say... The entire audience was my witness. Was there anything special about the stage or your performance that you can tell me? For example, were the lights dimmer than usual? Were there any problems or accidents? Not a thing. Everything was the same as always. Mr. Prosecutor, you questioned the audience, didn't you? Yes, of course. Apparently nothing seemed amiss to them except, well, one small thing. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I tried my best, really I did. But my performance was a huge bust. Not a single soul laughed. Hold it! Do you have any idea what went wrong? I'm not sure if it was my performance or if it was just that particular audience. Or maybe it was the story I picked. But every entertainer knows that this kind of thing happens from time to time. I guess that makes sense. Still, I wonder how he could have flopped his own commemorative show. Maybe I should dig into things a bit more. Now, I wait a minute, I definitely did this before, I feel. Yeah, because we asked him what he did before. And then he talks about the soba, um... Ta yeah, what the heck? Huh. I w why are we having to do... We've done this before. Okay, so I, I tried pressing this statement. And I did get new information, so I don't know. It's like I pressed the last one before, but I never got this far. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'll never be able to live down how terribly I bombed during that very important show. Hold it! Excuse me for asking, but do you bomb like that on a regular basis? Well, aren't you a regular rude daisy? Do you really think a Rakugo artist who regularly bombs would get promoted? In fact, I'm known as the Tonido School's Whirluendo of Laughter, I'll have you know. Is that really true, Simon? That nickname is a bit of a travesty, if you ask me. But his Rakugo is solid and well-received, yes. I see. But, yeah, Whirluendo of Laughter is a big old stink bomb of a name, isn't it? Whew, what a relief, I thought it was just me. I mean, Whirluendo of Laughter is great, funny stuff. I'm glad you like it. The story I performed is called Toki Soba, otherwise known as Time Soba. Hold it! The story where a man cheats on a soba bill, right? Why do you think it didn't go over well? Well, I suppose I was a little nervous. It's a lot of pressure when you're the star of such an important show, you know. You nervous? I thought you'd be all calm and collected, but I guess even you can get stage fright, huh? I wanted so badly to live up to the great name of Uendo that I inherited. That I guess I overperformed a little this time. 
Wait, Uendo was the stage name of a former member of the Tenaido school, right? That's right. The name belonged to one of Shisho's former disciples who died of illness at a young age. With the weight of a new name like that to carry on your shoulders, I can see why you were feeling the heat, just like me. I'm carrying the weight of my entire agency on my shoulders right now. In that case, can I count on your sympathy and have you go a little easier on me? With the audience as his witness, Uendo has a pretty unshakable alibi, doesn't he? You're not giving up, are you? Where's that never say die spirit you displayed earlier? Now that... I definitely read that before. I've read this before. Did I... I don't remember any of this though. Ah, oh, I must have... Okay. So let's see what evidence we have. Um, that's not gonna help. There's the crime scene. Invitation. Let's see, inside the envelope was a ticket to the show, a letter from the victim. The letter contains a simple greeting and a rundown of the show's program. Geru was to perform a balloon act, then Nuendo was to do his soba glutton routine. Now that's interesting! Okay, so here's the contradiction. So if that's the case, let's go to number f this one. And present the invitation. Objection! Uendo, isn't there something odd about the routine you performed? Odd? No, I don't think there's anything odd about it. But that's exactly what I find odd. The fact that you don't think it's odd. Objection! We're discussing the witness's alibi at the moment, Defense. The show's program is completely irrelevant. Objection! That's where you're wrong, Prosecutor Sadmati. Tammy, you stop! The reason being, it contradicts the statement the witness just made. Uendo, do you know what this is? No, what is it? This is an invitation to the show sent from Master Tonido to Prosecutor Blackwell. Included in the invitation is a rundown of the show's program, which clearly states that Time Soba was to be performed by Master Tonido himself. Uendo! Why did you perform the routine your master was scheduled to do? Well, you see, the reason for that is... How do I say this? You see, uh... Let's say it was a prank. That's right, it was just a little joke, you see? I was trying to surprise Shisho by performing his routine before he did. I don't know about that. Was doing the victim's routine really just for laughs, or... Didn't Simon happen to hear tying Soba coming from the dressing room? During Uendo's performance on stage. It seems like too much of a coincidence. Can it be? What's the matter? You look like a hen with a dozen eggs to lay. Stop comparing me to birds. Then cease this burn braid timid timidity. Ah. If something has occurred to you, then lay it out for us already. Don't breed resentment at those watching your performance. Okay. I don't have a ton of confidence in this theory, but here goes. It looks like Uendo's alibi checks out, Your Honor, but... Even though he was on stage at the time, he may have been trying to obfuscate a crucial detail about this case. Are you referring to the Soba bill the man tried to skimp on in the witness's story? I'm talking about the Rakugo story, Your Honor. Oh, I'm sorry, but then what are you talking about, Miss Sykes? 
What Wendo may have been trying to deceive us about was... The time of the victim's death? Uendo tried to deceive us about the time of the victim's death. Objection. What gibberish! Prosecutor Blackwell even testified to the time of the victim's death. I know. But he only testified that way because he and Gairu had been completely taken in. You mean, by the Soba Bill thing? Would you please forget about the story for a second? I was deceived? Pray tell, how did Uendo manage to deceive two people while he was performing on stage? That's easy. All he had to do was use a certain prop in the dressing room. Sorry if I, my reading sounds a little off today, it's because I, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago, my nose is stuffy still, so... And what might that be? The prop Wendo used was... Wait. Oh boy, what, what? Tammy, would you stop? Tammy! Oh, I see. Take that. This TV was used to view what was happening on the stage. Prosecutor Blackwell, when you came to the dressing room, what was Uendo doing? He was performing Time Soba. Could it be? Yes, it could. And it was. What you and Gyro heard was not Master Tonido practicing his routine. It was Uendo's performance as heard through his this TV monitor speakers. With the TV just inside the inner door of the dressing room, it could easily be heard from the hallway outside. And because we knew that Master Tonido was scheduled to perform Time Soba, we were easily manipulated into thinking he was still alive at the time, rehearsing. Yes, your knowledge of the day's program is why the two of you could be fooled this way. Simon, did the voice you hear belong to Master Tonido? With the doors in the way, I couldn't tell exactly who the voice belonged to. But because I heard Time Soba, I just assumed it was Master Tonido. I can't believe I was taken in by such a simple mind game. Objection. All of that is mere conjecture. Where's your proof, defense? Objection! The window moved the TV back when he discovered the body. After all, he couldn't very well leave it by the door. Because then someone might figure out the trick he'd been playing. And there's one more thing about Uendo's actions that's suspicious. And that is... The fact that he flopped so badly on such an important occasion. What's so suspicious about that? Even pros slip up once in a while, you know. But I believe that this time, it was intentional. Because Uendo knew it'd be strange to hear laughter coming from the dressing room. Oh my. It's all just a bit too perfect to be sheer coincidence. Plus, if the voice Prosecutor Blackwell and Gairu heard was due to Uendo's scheming, then the victim's time of death could have been earlier than 4 p.m. In other words, Uendo could have killed Master Tonido himself. We got you by the balls now, Uendo! So you better confess. Well, witness, what do you have to say for yourself? We demand an explanation. Uendo! I confess. I tampered with the crime scene.
Is it the defense's claim that Uendo Tenaido is the true murderer in this case? If he tampered with the crime scene, then we have to at least consider him a suspect. Now wait just one minute. Yes, I admit to messing with the dressing room, but I didn't kill Shisho. Then why did you tamper with the crime scene? I refuse to answer that question. If you suspect this witness, then I have a question for you. Uendo had absolutely no reason to murder Typhoon Tenaido. After all, why would Uendo kill the man who recognized his skills and promoted him? Well, his motive was... I can't think of a single thing. It appears you're also not aware of one other fact. That the accused visited the dressing room before 4pm as well. Is it not natural, then, to suppose that the accused killer the victim at that time? Nobody told me Mr. Wet had also gone there before 4 p.m. We were only discussing the time frame after 4 p.m., so I didn't think to mention it. But now that you have made the time period before 4 p.m. relevant... I don't like where this is going. So you really do not know what your client was doing during that time frame, do you? Well, it was all very sudden, and... Why'd you wait until the very last second to contact me, Simon? Don't you give me that look! And just so you know, Bucky never told me he had visited the Master before 4pm either. This sort of thing is exactly why that prosecutor keeps calling us unprepared. The defense will stop squabbling this instant! Sorry, Your Honor. Prosecutor Sadmati, please continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Defense, you know of the soba-making implements in the dressing room, correct? Is he talking about the equipment for making soba noodles? You speak at the large bowl that's used to mix buckwheat flour and water. The long rolling pin and the special knife that's used to cut the dough into noodles. Precisely. These tools all came from the accused soba shop. Blech. You mean they didn't belong to Master Tenido? Mr. Wet had visited at the dressing room to give the victim a soba making lesson. And that visit was before 4 p.m. I'm afraid that after the accused heated the dough and made those noodles. He committed the act of murder. But wait, that doesn't add up. If Mr. Wet killed the victim before 4 p.m., why would he return to that room at a later time? Soba, your kitten caboodle when it comes to noodles. Oh my. Hiya, Miss Chickadee. Hey, Asimi. The reason I went back is Mr. Wet. Yesterday, I brought noodle-making tools to the dressing room at around 2 p.m. That's when Master Tenido ordered uncooked soba noodles to stock up on. Uncooked noodles to stock up on? Yes, ma'am! Master Tenido kept a supply of soba noodles from my shop in his fish. He only had one serving left, so I went back to my shop to get some more. One serving of noodles in the fridge, but I thought the fridge was practically empty. 
Anyway, the whereabouts of the missing noodles isn't all that important now. You ran into me and Gairu when you came back to deliver the uncooked soba, correct? That's right, Saimi! I made time out of my busy day to deliver him the noodle-ish. And you know what? He ignored me when I called to him from the inner doorway. He just kept mumbling Rakugo lines for ages! So I got bad and went back to my soba shop. So that's why you got mad. If what he's saying is true, then there's no way he could be the murderer. I swear I'm telling the truth, Miss Chickadee! <laughs> Bailiff, quick! Get this man to the infirmary! Good testimony, bro. Well, I dare say he's quite the handful. Your Honor, please accept the statements Mr. Wet made just now into evidence. Objection! I believe the accused statement about going to the room at around 2 p.m. is true. For it falls within the time, uh, within the victim's estimated time of death. That opens up the possibility that the crime was committed between 2 and 4 p.m. That's some critical information. Yes, Your Honor. But other than that one point, Mr. Wet's statements are dubious and without proof. Objection! But they are the words of the defendant himself. Simon, back me up here. He has a point. If I were the prosecutor, I wouldn't accept them either. While I understand the defense's feelings on the matter, this court is unable to accept anything other than the time the defendant made his visit. Now what do I do? I trust you have no further objections, defense. At last, the time has come to send the soul of the victim onward to the Twilight Realm. Silence! What are you yammering on about, Prosecutor Sad Monk? We still have something we need to question Nuendo about. Like what? Well, don't just stand there. But we don't have any evidence left to present. Have you forgotten already? Isn't there still a hidden witness you have yet to question? That's right. Your Honor, there's still one more issue we haven't finished discussing yet. And what is this bit of unfinished business? We haven't finished discussing this issue related to Wendo. We still have to discuss the possibility of a fourth personality, the one named Owen. Are you suggesting that this fourth personality of Wendo's might be the true culprit? Jeez, not that again. I told you we don't know anything about this Owen. Look, Uendo, I know you don't have any motive to kill your master, but... This Owen may have won for all we know. Come clean now, Uendo. You've got another personality stashed away, haven't you? Please tell us everything you know about Owen. That's enough! The witness has already stated that he knows not of any Owen character. Bravo, you tell him, Mr. Prosecutor. Hey, Patches. If you claim you don't know Owen when you really do, that's tantamount to perjury. If you want to exercise your right to remain silent, however, well, that's a different story. Do not listen to the depraved prosecutor witness. You'll be tainted with his evil. Do you have any idea how dark and cold the prison cell is? <laughs> I exercise my right to remain silent. What's this now? Changing horses in midstream, are you? Shut up! I'll remain silent and that's it! Patches, you fool! You stay out of this! Patches is not the brightest bulb in that box you call a noggin, is he? The fact that he switched from I don't know any Owen to I will remain silent is proof that he does know about Owen. 
There it is again. Simon's formidable psychological manipulation tactic. I'm sure glad he's on my side today. Objection! You dirty, despicable, depraved prosecutor. You're leading the witness. Witness! There's no need for you to submit yourself to the defense's questioning. Objection! Your Honor, Uendo is definitely hiding something. Please allow me to question this witness about the existence of Owen. I suppose only this witness can confirm or deny the existence of Owen for us. Very well. I'll allow the defense to proceed. Pokuga. But I'm gonna have to cut this video short by three minutes and end the video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye bye!